Jose Mourinho once famously said, don't idolize footballers. Some of them are pure trash. It shouldn't be surprising to know that professional football is not all sunshine and rainbows. I mean, when millions of dollars are being thrown around, morality can sometimes take a back seat. The seven deadly sins of lust, envy, gluttony, greed, pride, sloth, and wrath are all present in the footballing world, with seven footballers in particular that represent these sins, starting with lust. Lust is thought of as unbridled sexual desire, often leading to adultery. It could be argued that lust is the most prevalent of all sins amongst footballers. From cheating allegations to criminal offenses, there are plenty of candidates. Kyle Walker is among the most recent to hit the headlines, and we can't forget the legendary Mohammed Anas interview. Thank you very much for, for, for this, for giving me this. And I appreciate my fans also. My wife and my girlfriend, yeah, I mean my wife, yeah, sorry to say, I'm so, I'm so sorry, my wife, listen. But the man who I'm going with is John Terry. He was involved in one of the biggest cheating scandals in recent history, and it destroyed his relationship with his teammate and best friend at the time, Wayne Bridge. Terry reportedly slept with Bridge's ex-girlfriend and got her pregnant. Not the sort of behaviour you want to see from an England captain and father of two. No love lost between these two, and in particular those two. No handshake or even a glance between John Terry and Wayne Bridge. I'm sure you remember why. He did still manage to keep his reputation somewhat intact. But the same can't be said for Ryan Giggs, who let Envy destroy everything he worked for. Envy is the desire for others' traits, status, abilities or situation. So who did Giggs envy? His brother. Ryan Giggs had an eight-year affair with the wife of his younger brother, Rodri, aka his sister-in-law. It's the sort of thing people won't forget, and they haven't. He is statistically one of the greatest Premier League players of all time, but you rarely hear his name nowadays. His longevity was always a strong point, both as a player on the pitch and a snake off it. His brother did get him back with one of the greatest ads I've ever seen. I'm Rodri Giggs and I want to talk to you about loyalty. I've always lived a loyal life, always drinking the same pub. Hey, hey, what is you doing, mate? Bitter? Not anymore, Pam. Champagne, please. Always support my country. Defeat for Wales. Questions will be asked of the manager. Never missed a training session in my life. After all, natural talent is overrated. <laughs> always use the same brand of tea bags. I'm just popping out. Where are you going? To the shops, Rod. We need milk. We do need milk. Always go to the same gym. Come on, Rod, think of someone that makes you angry. No one comes to mind. Problem is, loyalty gets you nowhere. Live for rewards instead. That's why I'm Paddy's Rewards Club ambassador. Thanks, Paddy. Off the back of that gambling ad, let's talk about gluttony. Gluttony is the overindulgence and overconsumption of anything to the point of waste. In terms of overeating, the list is long. From Adriano to Suarez, they both bit off more than they could chew. But the man who epitomized gluttony was George Best. His famous quote goes, I spent a lot of money on booze, birds, and fast cars. The rest, I just squandered. A notorious alcoholic and gambler, his hedonistic ways would unfortunately get the best of him, passing away at 59 after a failed liver transplant. Uh, the old problem, the drink problem is always gonna be there. I mean, I don't kid myself anymore. I used to think I'll beat it one day. I don't, I don't worry about it now. If I beat it, I beat it. If I don't, I don't. And uh, I, I'd rather think like that than drive myself crazy worrying about it. He lived life in the fast lane, and it was his lifestyle that led him to become one of the first football superstars. He was addicted to alcohol the same way many footballers are addicted to money. This brings us to greed. Greed is an inordinate desire to acquire or possess more than one needs, especially with respect to material wealth. Cashley Cole and PayPal Money Ma, Oscar, anyone who went to Saudi Arabia, the list is endless. But my choice is Hulk, because unlike the other players, Hulk has never, despite his immense talent, played in one of Europe's top five leagues, instead opting for a bigger paycheck at more obscure clubs. From Brazil to Japan, to Portugal, to Russia, to China, Hulk goes wherever the money goes. Like I said before, we were robbed of seeing his full potential barring a few seasons at Porto, all because there was never enough money. But who am I to say I wouldn't do the same? I mean, most football careers don't last very long at all, unless you're Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Zlatan and pride are inseparable. Pride is considered the original and worst of the seven deadly sins, 
and is defined as an excessive love of one's own excellence. I was playing also normal against Holland and today I play also normal, so there's only one Zlatan. The biggest sport and being the best player in the biggest sport has to be obviously the ultimate. Yeah, that's yeah. what I feel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the typical Swedish guy, but I put Sweden on the map, so... Who's the best striker in the Premier League right now? English or foreigner? Anyone you like. I feel Lukaku is strong, Aguero is good, he's all round. You didn't say yourself. Lions, they don't compare themselves with humans. <laughs> he's known for his ego as much as his skill, but he might have some competition in the near future. Who's the best football player in the world? Me. <laughs> <laughs> At least Mbappe and Ibrahimovic care enough about the game to brag. The same can't be said for the candidates for sloth. Sloth is seen as the avoidance of physical or spiritual work. Instantly you think of players like Dimitar Berbatov and Raquel May, who are notorious for moving about the pitch like a sloth. But the real culprits are different. The likes of Hatem Ben Arfa and Ricardo Karezma who had more natural talent than 99% of professionals, but had average careers, are much more in line with the sin of sloth. My pick, however, is Mario Balotelli. At almost every club he played for, attitude and work rate issues came up. It didn't help he was always extremely nonchalant on the pitch as well. He did have his moments, however, at both Inter Milan and Manchester City, and that's what makes his case even worse. We saw that he could be incredible, but he just slowly fell off, and instead of competing for the Ballon d'Or, he was getting kicked out of training. And while sloth is about inaction, the final sin of wrath is about destructive action. Wrath can be defined as uncontrolled feelings of anger, rage, and even hatred. Wrath often reveals itself in the wish to seek vengeance. Pepe, Diego Costa, Luis Suarez, and Roy Keane, all viable options. But the man that takes the cake is Joey Barton. Joey Barton is arguably the dirtiest player in Premier League history and has been convicted twice of violent crimes. In May 2008, he was sentenced to six months imprisonment for common assault during an incident in Liverpool city centre, serving 74 days in prison. In July 2008, he was also given a four-month suspended sentence after admitting assault that caused bodily harm to former teammate Usman Dabo during a training ground dispute. Moreover, Barton has also been charged with violent conduct three times by the Football Association. For that assault on Dabo, for punching Morton Gamps Pedersen in the stomach, and for attacking three players on the final day of the 2011-12 season. And there you have it, seven footballers and seven deadly sins. Let me know your thoughts on this style of video, and thanks for watching.